Have you ever had an airbag go off in your face? I haven't. And I don't think I want to do either. Sent a few airbags off a couple of years back, deliberately. And that was shocking enough from about 15 feet away. I just think if you're going to have a crash, the last thing you want is a massive explosion as well. Surely that would make you really uncomfortable. Well, that's my pyramid of R40 wings looking better than ever. Four sets of wings now. Look. Now then, this pie here I got from Morrison's last night. It was reduced, so it's already poisonous. And this one does not say anything about not putting in the microwave. At least I can't find it anywhere. But it still gives me the uh, problem of how long should you not put it in the microwave for. So, that means that pucker pies are obviously less dangerous than Aldi pies. It's four o'clock right now. And what I haven't done so far today is make any kind of video, which isn't like me at all. But the simple fact is, I've come to work and I've been working all day and sometimes that means you don't get a video done so if you if you wanted me to do a video I apologize put the dash out that's what I did earlier on and in the process I managed to uh, snap the end of the key off in the ignition barrel and I could do with that for the boot at least that come out easily well that was a fun day I hope you enjoyed it well there was quite a bit more going on that you couldn't see. All this here, all of that. We go to the car over here, open it up and there really isn't very much left at all now. Even this heater matrix is half out. I don't really know if I need that. Next is the steering column, the headlining, the C pillars and the fuel pumps out of here. Whether I'll make a video out of it, I'm not really sure. Because also there is the doors, all four doors, and the boot lid, the rear lights. And then when it goes in the back of the truck, I'll start taking the suspension off as well. Fortunately, the winch's magic pulling power um, has stopped being so useful. It's still not fixed, I need a part for it. But it does work a bit. You know, if you jiggle around the plug on it, it can just about work. That's not really convenient at all. Then we have Project Larry here. Now I haven't done anything with this at all today. What I was going to do, I was going to at least advertise it for parts. Well, obviously there's not many parts left. I wanted to do that and just get the carpet out and give that a clean up. So maybe that's another job for tomorrow. The day just goes by too quickly when you're busy, you see. Now some people look at that and go, well, you've not really done very much there, have you? Wow. What have you complaining about all the work you've done? You've done nothing! Some days you just want to get on with your work and that's been what today's been. Um, I don't know why. Other days I just feel really full of ideas and full of silliness and stuff and that's where, the, that's where my favourite videos come from. Even what I'd class as the non-videos which I started labelling as that because there's not a specific thing happening but I managed to record a few bits that I quite like and then lots of my subscribers watch it so I think why not and I have actually been contemplating the idea of um, just having a video every two days or even every three days rather than every day just doing it every day is you know quite demanding some of my subscribers might like that I've spoken to many people that uh, say they come and catch up every week or so. They can't be watching them every day. But then others are saying that they like them every day. And I have many of you that's, that comment every single day. And I feel like I owe it to you people to do something every day. And if that's what you want me to do, that's what I'll do. Even if it is some nonsense like this. So, anyway, for the moment, bye-bye.